What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Thomcraft 6. And I've done a little bit of decorating in here. I think I need to do some more and get rid of these torches. But for now, we're going to leave the torches. And every one of these, except for, I think, this one, I've got a banner back there. And I've got all of them identified. This one's a little hard to see, but I've got them all identified so I can see what it is without having to look at each individual one like that you know so um yeah i think it looks kind of cool and then down here i've also done a little more decorating and we've got the runic matrix or the infusion is it the infusion yeah the infusion uh matrix or runic infusion matrix <laughs> extravaganza is down here so the first thing i want to do is we're going to grab a couple of these crystals these v crystals and put them here we're going to grab a puffer fish. We're going to get that one there. We're going to get some enchanted fabrics. Get them in here as well. And I feel like there's something else I'm missing. What was it? I had it all in my inventory and set up, but then I uh, I took it all down. Uh, boots of the Traveler. Mm -mm. A fish and a feather. Did I get the feather down? No, I didn't put the feather down. Okay. There it is. I did have it. All right. So I did grab everything correctly. All right, leather boots right there. Let's see what we need for the boots of the traveler. 100 modus, 100 volatis. Let's see what we have. I just put a whole bunch of feathers in here, so we might be good on the volatis. Uh, I don't think so. It looks like we're still pretty low. Uh, 67. Okay, so the modus, we've only got 70 modus, so we're going to need to get some more of that anyway. Um, so what was I using that had modus in it? I forget. Uh, let's see. We were using, oh, boats give 15. I think I was making wooden trap doors because they're pretty easy. But boats are a lot, they don't stack, but there we go. Jungle wood. I got a bunch of things going on too. Yeah, these will stack, so I'll just, I'll just slap these in here. There's five each. Yeah, yeah, we should be good. Um... But I was uh, getting some of the cocoa seeds and getting those because they have the des desiderium, I think it's called. And that's a pretty easy way to do it. And then I found out that the beetroots have it as well. So, like, where are they? Cocoa beans. They have the, uh, the, the greed one. And then I was looking through here and beetroots have it as well. But they only have one. These have two. Plus they have census, which is a little bit better. And potentia, I can break that down too and get ordo from it. So it's nice to have that stuff. But anyway, uh, we need to grab some feathers. And the feathers over here, I made one of the uh, chicken chicken killers. <laughs> where it's got the lava, and the lava's like directly under this block right here. Um, this is the one that runs, it's like the Zoomavoid one. You know, so if you want to figure out how to make one of those things, it's uh, just look up his chicken thing. And I've just sunk it under the ground a little bit and then made it made it look like there was a chicken coop up there. And I really wanted to make it exactly the same style as this. However, I was afraid the lava would start burning things. So I didn't want to do that. I made it something similar in color. And then I didn't want to use the silver wood because I was afraid that would burn. So I was like, well, maybe we'll go something else white. And I found some quartz. So I put some quartz on there. Uh, but I do need to get some more feathers. There we go. Because we're going to make this uh, these boots, man. The boots are... Oh, wait. No, we do have to be up here. The boots are going to be awesome. All right. What do we have? 155 there. Let's get uh, maybe like 16 feathers in here. I have five each. Should be good. And I am getting a ton of V in here. Or uh, taint. It's like getting crazy. Like I feel eventually, I feel like we're going to get a rift showing up over here. So between episodes, I was down mining. And I found a whole bunch of the uh, the vidium crystals. So I had an idea. I know that you can make them. So I, this is like an exact chunk right here. And I want to go all the way down so there's nowhere else to do anything. This is going to be a big project because it's going to take me a lot of... Uh, out of pickaxes to get down here um, but there I want to go all the way down to base level and then do layers and levels and each level I want to just load up with a whole bunch of crystals 
and then I want to make like a whole bunch of V in that area and we're gonna do a little test it's probably not gonna to be today it's not gonna to be tomorrow it's gonna to be somewhere down in the future but I want to do a little test where we just lay down a whole bunch of uh, crystals and see if they turn to the, the V crystals because I've noticed them down when I was mining uh, so I think that might work I think we might be pretty good with that I think uh, I think hopefully it'll start like um, you know just just using up some of the, the V in the area because right now I've been watching and no matter how long I sit and wait it never goes down so there's got to be something that uses up that V and then uh, and then we can we can deal with it for now I mean right now it's still in beta Thumbcraft 6 is still in beta and uh, you know it's uh, not not too bad but uh, hmm, there we go we'll put this here but he still isn't complete feature full also I made a new <laughs> a new focus uh, so we got to take that off all right we're getting all our stuff keep an eye on all this junk what do we got down to 50 40 something all right this is gonna be good the boots of the traveler we're gonna have to charge them up with some V though I think right Might take a minute. Everything's still on the pedestal. We're still good. What is that? 24, 22, 20. All right, it's gonna start sucking up the items here in a second. There we go, that stuff, that stuff, that, that, and that. And we are good to go. Boost of the Traveler. Heck yeah. V charge. Okay, we have zero V in this thing. And actually, I'm going to snatch up this really quick. And then I'm going to put this on here. If I can. No, you can't. Okay. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Um, Boots of the Traveler. Let's go on there. Loading up with some Potentia. Got the Arcane Grappler all charged up and ready to go. What are we looking? Holy crap. I mean, 137, 140-something. What? In, I wonder how much this, this holds completely. Is there like a... Yeah, 165. It keeps going up. Over 200. Looks like 240 is where it ends. All right, so 240, and now we have the Boots of the Traveler, which we should be able to move really fast with. Then also, oh, this is nice. Also, I don't need a jump. It just goes boop, 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 boop. That should be nice, and then my jump is quite a bit higher. So how much V does it did it go through? Oh, it only went through one V for that. All right, let's jump. Mm, 239 all right so let's let's get full health here so from a drop up here however far this is we took heart and a half damage all right let's take them off let's see what we take now okay that was three and a half hearts so it definitely has a good feather falling effect to it all right, cool. So we got the the boots of the traveler, and then we've also got the axe of the stream created. We've got our arcane grappler. We're starting to get some of the good good thumbcraft stuff. Now the next thing I want to do is go down to here to the elemental tools and start making some of these things. So let's go first with the pickaxe of the core. I think that'll be a good one to do. So we need rare earths, two ignis crystals, great wood planks, thirty, thirty, and thirty. Okay, I'm going to get all this stuff prepped. And actually, you know what I should do is I'll, I'll get everything prepped up. I'll make sure I have enough of everything. We'll just bring it all downstairs, and then we'll get it ready to go. And ju we'll just do, like, all four of those enchantments all at once. Infusions, not enchantments. I don't think I've showed you this yet. The Essentia Centrifuge. 
I, I know that I did this in between episodes to try to get a whole bunch of uh, metallum so I could do the, the native clusters, but I don't think in the last couple episodes I've just been walking right past it. So I made the Essentia Centrifuge. It's really awesome. What it does, it will take Instrumentum or whatever, you know, compound Essentia that you have. It will break it down into its two components, and then you can further break it down. But since there's like 48, you know, whatever. If there's one, uh, uh, one Essence down here or one um, Essentia down here, it will only break up into one. It'll be either... Let's say instrumentum. It'll be either one potentia or one metallum. So you won't get one of each. You'll just get one or one. So it's kind of random how it does it. So you will lose a little bit out of the whole process. But it's actually really nice because I can make a whole bunch of this instrumentum out of wooden or stone tools. And then I can throw it through here. I will get a whole bunch of metallum. That way I can use to make my my clusters and stuff for for iron and I can get potentia which I can then break the potentia down <clears throat> further into ignis and ordo so it is a really good way to get certain aspects that you would normally have to break down into something you know a little more difficult so if you looked up like metallum what has that and you want to smelt it down well you're gonna have to you're gonna have a long road ahead of you because you're gonna use a lot of metal to get the stuff and then if you're going to use it to double your ore, you're actually truly not really doubling your ore because you're using a bit of metallum to get your metallum for the recipe to make the ore clusters. You see what I'm saying? So right now, though, what I'm doing is breaking this down so I can get a bunch of potentia because, no, well, I had a bit extra of this stuff. And I think I'm going to put this back just so we have a little bit in the tank. Um, but I'm breaking that down just so I can get some ordo because we are clear out of the stuff except for this eight right there um so let's do that let's break it all down i'm going to grab the potentia you can go here start breaking down and then we'll just take a look and see we've got ordo coming up there um i don't uh ah, shoot well i was hoping to only get like let's see what it does eight we got nine I got 10. All right, so we've got 10. I can now condense this. There we go. And I can put it in this jar because this is going to be our jar for Ordo. So I want to get that in there and turn it to Ordo first. There we go. Now when I pick it up and place it, it will only pull the Ordo. And we've got... Uh, okay, that one's not completely full. So let's put the Ignis right there. And then we've got the void jar of metallum I can put back because I do have some metallum downstairs. And we're going to end up needing like 30 ordo for this thing. And then I think I've got everything wrapped up. We get that on the thing. We get two of these. And then we get uh, a rare earth which I'm going to place over here and then we get a great wood plank which I'm going to place over here and then we are going to begin this whole business right there and I'm going to take that out of there because I'm sick of it okay my modus is here all the stuff still on there. I did sense that it uh, it did a little zap it zappy. I've got that stuff there. All right, so we've got everything we need for this. Whoa! Still good. A bit of instability going on there. Not a big deal. It all worked out. And it did need to grab a little extra. What is going on here? What was wrong with that one? Did it blow it up and just didn't decided not to use it? All right, so this thing, hopefully it's nighttime. Please be nighttime, please be nighttime. That was like a graphic glitch, I think. Sweet, it is nighttime. All right, so, oh shit. 
Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Where's my thing? I need my heels. <laughs> That's too slow. Alright, we gotta run out there. <laughs> okay, we gotta do this before everything gets too bad. Alright, come on. Alright, so let's get this loaded up with my healing thing. Um, I got some food. Okay. Okay, so I might want to just do this. Alright, let's try it again. So running in there like that. Oh my goodness, man. <gasps> I'm like, all my stuff's like right there, Adam. Okay, so, well, it's going to be a lot easier if we just... If we just light them on fire, fire. Oh, let's try to let's try to bolt them. There we go. That should work. Come on now. There we go. We got him. All is well. Frost bolt worked fine. All right. Let's uh let's scan. Okay, got all that stuff. Let's get rid of this crap. Alright, hopefully nothing underneath got messed up. Alright, we should be good. I'm just gonna harvest this thing. Oh yeah, look at look at our taint level up here now. This is good. That thing actually wasn't a bad, <laughs> a bad thing, because our tank was getting a little bit high. All right. Well, okay. Well, sort of the Zephyr. It does this. Kind of levitate, levitate you a little bit. And the last one. So it does that. Kind of levitates you a little bit. Um, also, if I do that next to, like, a mob, it should blow them away. It'll keep them away from me as long as I hold it. However, this bolt focus is, like, amazing. Use the bolt focus with frost, and it is, like, the best. Because you knock them back, it freezes them, and, uh... And it does some sweet damage. So, anyway, let's go make the next tool. All right, we are going with the Thaumium pickaxe. Get that in there. V crystal. And then great wood and rare earths. And let's begin. Start it off with a bang. All right, we're pulling all the ignis. <clears throat> Metalum. Should be good. Census, where you at? Over here. Should be good on that stuff. And now it should start sucking all the items in. There we go. That one was nice and quick and easy. Alright, so this thing's going to be really good. Let's head down. Let's go over, you know what, let's go to the pit that I'm building, and we'll make some use out of this. Alright, first when we jump down, it'll be like, ho! There we go. Alright, so, whoa, dude. There we go. 
There's a little cluster of items there for us to get. Oh, and we got the uh, we got the native iron cluster, so that's good. Let's see, something else close. Looks like we've got some stuff around here somewhere. Right here, we should have something. It's like real close. There it is. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of pinpoint or help pinpoint close to where you want to uh, be mining. You don't really know what it is, but it's something. So, okay, let's try to find something else. Um, right there. Straight ahead, that one's like the white color. Or like a gray. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so... That one, I think, is amber. The... Here, let's go. I want to find one of those black ones that are close and see what that is. Oh, coal. Duh. Should have known. Um, hmm. Do I have any other torches? I do. Okay, there we go. Alright, what else do we have? Um, okay, so there's black, there's that white. Ah, black. that color. There's another white one. Oh, wow. Native quartz cluster. That's interesting. Let's get rid of the zombie flash. Ah, right here on the surface. <laughs> you can kind of see it's slightly different color. It's not quite white and it's not quite that yellow color. It's somewhere in between, but it's hard. It's not very distinguishable between uh, the quartz and, you know, I guess that one is the quartz and the iron. Kind of hard to tell the difference. Now, I wonder if you had mods in here like uh, if it, like tin or something like that, what you'd be looking at. But anyway, that's how it works. That's the pickaxe of the core. All right, next up we've got, let's see, one of them, one of them. No. One of those, and one of those, and then the, th the hoe, the thomium hoe. So let's make sure we've got this one right. Hoe of growth, Perdicio and ordo, great wood, rare earths. We should have all the stuff down here. Um, let's see, it was ordo, Perdicio, and herba. All right, so let's get this thing going. Do I have a stupid torch in? Okay, we're good to go. And then next up, we're just gonna slap down the thomium shovel and get that one going too. Actually, I wonder if I could go and get it ready. Right, sucking up parts. All the bits are getting taken. There we go. Hoe of growth. And let's do the shovel. Uh, okay, we got that and Fabrico. Yep. Great wood. That. Oh, actually, we probably want to do this. Because you're supposed to balance them on each side for whatever reason. It just helps with the stability. We should be done here in just a second. And these things, the durability on that <laughs> pickaxe went down really quick. And what are we waiting for, bro? What is, it, it keeps doing that. It's showing that the item's there. Let's see, we have 15.
Huh. But it wasn't. Yeah, that's so weird. It's just kind of weird. Uh, maybe it's just some kind of glitch. May I don't know. Could it be the shaders? Who knows? Oh, and it's raining out. Alright, let's grab some dirt. Because that taint seed can... Oh my gosh, I don't have dirt. I've been using it all to fill in. Um, let's grab some of this. So that grabs a 3x3. Three three. Just like that. Right click. Place it down. 3x3. Three three. Just like it was. Looks good. Alright, so that is the shovel. So let's go ahead and place that that. That there. And hoe of growth. We do that. And we're going to need some seeds. So let's replant some. Oops. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Right? Oh, no. I thought it planted as well. I guess it doesn't. But it does bone meal things, so that's pretty nice. And there we go. Alright. So we grow. Now, is it going to keep screwing my durability? Uh, 1443. 1443. Okay, so if I just, if I miss clicking, if I just hold it down to try to grow all this stuff, it's not really going to punish me for holding the button down too long on, on something. So that's good to know. Alright, so there is our hoe of growth and shovel of the earth mover. We checked out the Axe of the Stream in the last episode, and we got to check out all of these fun Thaumium tools, and I need to get, I want to see if it will work. If we do, like, an anvil here, am I going to have enough? I've got a ton of iron ore uncooked, but I'm not going to have enough to do the thing. Is it 36? Sweet. All right, so, doop, 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 doop. Let's do an anvil. Let's get that there. We want to do thaumium in here. So let's grab a thaumium ingot. Hopefully I have one. I do. And let's see if we can repair these things with thaumium. So that can go there. That can go there. Cost one level. That's not bad. All right, cool. So at least we know we can repair it with the thaumium. So that's really good because I don't have mending yet. Um, but what do we want? For thaumium. What is thaumium? Thaumium is. I know it's. Precantatio. And I don't think I have to put metallum in there, do I? Let's see. What do we got to do? Precantatio and Terra. Okay. So I've got two of these, two of these, a bunch of iron. Let's do it. All right, now let's repair some tools. I've got eight levels, guys. Just eight. That's not bad. We'll use one on that, so our tools are almost as good as new. All right, so perfect. So we went and checked out, I think for the most part, guys, we've got the good majority of all the Thomcraft stuff, except for the armor. Um, now, there is one other thing we're going to have to check out. I don't know if that's going to be today or not. Um, i got to take a look at the episode length. But, next thing that I do want to check out is down here in Arcane Infusion. And it is going to be Infusion Enchantment. So, burrowing. So, burrowing is really cool. Let's take a look at it. Try to harvest a tree or the ore. That is the axe of the stream type stuff with burrowing. Okay, um, when you you know harvest your your log, it pulls down the farthest one. We've got collector, collector harvest an item. It'll float towards you. So that's another thing on the axe of the stream, uh, which would be good for a pickaxe. So you can go on an axe, pickaxe, shovel, or a weapon. And the weapon wouldn't be bad either. So I wonder if you kill a guy, if uh, his goods will drop to you. And then also we've got. Oh, excuse me. Refining. A uh, chance of getting a native cluster. And you can go one through four on that. And as far as the ranks go, there's only one. Okay. Um, so the higher the higher number, the more chance you have. 
So that's only for a pickaxe. Sounding is only for a pickaxe, which that's what we were doing with the pickaxe of the core, trying to figure out where our things were. It's kind of like putting sonar out. Destructive. Now, does the pickaxe of the core have destructive? No, it does not. Okay, but it does have some of the en enchantments, like, right off the bat. Um, but this one makes it break three by three, which is going to be really good. So I want to get something with destructive on it to help dig out that big pit that I've got going over there. Um, also, we've got uh, destruct arcing. Uh, when you strike an enemy, uh, arc of biting wind will hit an additional target. And now does the axe of the stream, or the yeah, sword of the zephyr have that? It does. Uh, what else do we have? Essence harvester, so that looks like the last one. Uh, kill a weapon, or kill creature with a weapon enchanted with Chanted with this has a chance of dropping some of its essence in crystal far form. Now that's kind of cool. So if you're killing like a zombie, you get some humanus or something like that. That's kind of neat. But that seems like there's not. I guess that is. It doesn't have like the hoe of growth one or anything like that. So in order to use those certain ones, like the hoe of growth, maybe the shovel of the earth mover, I don't know. Um, no, Shovel of the Earth Mover has, uh, has Destructive on it, and Destructive is that one. So you can do it with an axe, pickaxe, or a shovel. Arcing. I don't think there's one with Essence Harvester, though, is there? No. But it's got, we've seen every other one except for Arcing, then. So that's it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. I know, I'm pretty sure that we ran past my time. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed. My name's Marty, signing out, and I'll catch you all. Let's see if I can get up there. Nope, not quite. <laughs> catch you all next time. Peace out. Oh, man, I had it. I had it. I'm going to get this. Nope. I had it the first time, and I messed it up. Got it. Okay, I'm up here. <laughs> Bye, guys. And gals. <laughs>